The Assembly today abolished the exclusive right of hunting for the nobility. Any man may now hunt any prey he may so. find on his property, so. Seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear their offer. Offer may be a bit strong. Is that? Bloody Templar. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell you done this time, pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? Hello, Honor. My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kimar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de Lasser's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de Lasser. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse. It's a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lasser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about.
went about as well as I expected. Give it time. Mirabeau will talk them around. Do you really think we'll find him? After all this time? His luck can't last forever. François Germain believed Lafreniere was... François Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on the Rue Saint-Antoine. Why? What the... Elise? Wait for me! Where are you going? François Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very, very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. where his workshop was. Let's go. It might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. was bracing. Just like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. 
No. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau as soon as... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down. Do you see them? The windows across the street. You copy. Good bloody work out there. You found him. Francois Thomas Germain, Grandmaster of the Templars and a sage to boot. By our reckoning, that's the second sage to rise to the Templars' highest rank. A troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain, stick with our known. He might have outlived this Grandmaster, and that could lead us to his body. Bishop out. <laughs> Monsieur Mirabeau? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. Handkerchief. Ladies' handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects, then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture.
You saw no one else when you arrived? Just the butler. He let me in, but he never came upstairs. But he was he here before you. Did you see any other servants? No. No one else. Doesn't look like it was forced. So the killer was expected? A guest, perhaps? Or a servant? <laughs> Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kemar. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Templar poison, Templar pin, it looks damning. Bravo, you figured it out. My cunning plan was to murder the only assassin who doesn't want to see me dead, then stand about waiting to be discovered. Not the only assassin. You're right, I'm sorry. But you know this wasn't my doing. I believe you. The Brotherhood, though. Then let's find the real killer before they get wind of this.
What cheer, Arno? Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Well, you had access to Mirabeau. You've disagreed with him publicly on many occasions, and you plainly know how to kill a man. I also have gout so severe I cannot climb stairs some days, and my eyes grow dimmer with every passing week. To say nothing of the dozen or more brother assassins who can vouch for the fact that I've been here since dawn. Forgive me, I didn't mean to imply. No, you meant to accuse, and you did it rather poorly. Now kindly stop wasting the time you've been given and find the true killer. Oui, monsieur. Ah, Anna. I think I can handle a lone druggist. Bonsoir. I wonder Shit. if you might end. Not again! Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here! Slow down! Wait! Don't hurt me! Let me be! Stay back, you animal! I just have a few questions. told anyone i did just as you said what are you talking about you you're with the other one aren't you the hooded man tell me about this other one who is he i don't know i never saw his face ah! he threatened to kill me if i didn't give him the poison i didn't ask questions ah! i keep only a small quantity in stock he took that straight away but he told me where to drop off the second dose second dose here! That's all I know! I swear it! 
Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? Thank you. 